There is work to be done, old friend. The impugment worked. Shadow is the strongest element within the gloom, but I've never seen it as strong as in this zone. We need to stop the beacon's light from fading, at any cost. Without it, the darkness would consume us all. I'm beginning to suspect the gloom is more than just a... force. There may be something out there. Some what you found in Aurelian proves that the Silver Codex was manipulating these forces, decades before the fall. Their work may hold the answers we need. seen these before. The monks used them to store information. This is the journal of a Codex initiate named Azarin. He writes about efforts to achieve immortality, to reshape the world. It seems this work was done deeper in Aurelian, in what Azarin calls the Undercroft. But only those who passed the trial of lingering light could enter the Undercroft. And he never did. We've never found a path beyond the Codex Halls. But if you could complete this trial, it might give you a connection to the Undercroft. We have to know what they were doing there. It surely exists somewhere in the echoes of the Codex Halls. There must be some record of it somewhere. I wish there was another option. But I'm afraid I know what you must do. Since the Gloomfall, We've had to put our pasts behind us. Wolf and the Huntmaster were once bitter enemies. But in the face of the gloom, we have to work together. So it is with Kestrel and I. She's a smuggler who used to work with the Shrikes. And she's good at finding things we need. I'll never trust her. But she may be able to help us with this. Kestrel keeps a low profile, but I'm sure you can find her. Ask around the bitter end. Oh, and Wayfinder. Be careful. Kestrel is not one to divulge information for free. Wayfinder, shouldn't you be out saving the world? Kestrel? The Shrike who emptied the Imperial Treasury? Surely she died in the fall. Hey there, love. Always a delight to see a new Wayfinder at the bitter end. What can I do for you? If you're chasing rumors. I'm just the person you need. The tavern's where all rumors come to roost, after all. My reputation. Kestrel was one of the original Shrikes. Today they're rabid bandits, but there was a time when the Shrikes were the heroes of the Highlands, playing Maze and Empire alike for fools. Before the fall, Kestrel was the slipperiest smuggler in the Westreach. I still have a bottle of blood sherry she carried through the maze. Don't tell Wolf. Most think Kestrel died in the fall. But I think she's still making sure people get what they need. But Wolf, little Lord Halar, she tricked them in the past, and they'd never trust her in Skylight. And if you're serious about making contact, I'd take a jaunt down the Great Lift and speak with the Warden. They say she and Kestrel are... acquainted, as it were. Good luck.
one of my watches is worth ten of that syndicate. Well met, Wayfinder. You here to thrash a few shrikes for me? Or do you have some other pressing business? Kestrel? You think I'm working with the shrikes now? If I knew where she was, I'd have her in chains. And you can tell that to Commander Wolf. <laughs> really? As if I'd know Kestrel. Closer, now, and quiet. I may be able to help you. Most Watchers don't like dealing with Kestrel. <laughs> Wolf would be furious. But I know Kestrel better than most. Seekers, Shrikes, she works with everyone. And that's how she gets results. She's got a safe house down here in the lower city. A sanctuary for the Shrikes that didn't go bad after the fall, and others with reason not to live in the upper city. Dangerous people, but useful. Look for a tavern with a fallen sign and a burning barrel just next to it. The password is Nightshade. Be sure you remember that. Unless you want a knife in your back. Oh, something tells me you'll know her when you see her. Luck be with you, Wayfinder. Something, hun. Or are you just gawking? Well, well. Look what the gloom dragged in. I'm impressed, love. You must have quite the question. The Seekers don't want the nefarious Kestrel doing business in their pristine little fortress. But I like to have my hand in things, so I keep them clean while I'm upstairs. So what do you want? The Trial of Lingering Light. You're a little late, aren't you? Aurelian was raised by the maze decades ago. Ah, I see. Yeah, I can help you. Question is, Wayfinder, what are you willing to give in exchange? What do you say? Favor for a favor, love? People call me a smuggler. The fact is that I get Skylight the things it needs. If I want something in return, well, that's the game. And what Skylight needs most is God's blood. You did get rattled in the gloom, didn't you? God's blood is arcanic fuel. It's what keeps the lights on in your pretty little city. Skylight needs it to survive, but the mines were lost in the fall. His lordship probably told you that only a Wayfinder can enter a breach. Well, only you can do it safely. For the rest of us, it's a roll of the dice, and these new Shrikes don't care about the odds. So the Shrikes have been squatting in the pit. One of the mines, just as pleasant as it sounds. I've had an arrangement that's let me get God's blood for Skylight. I get paid, everyone's happy, until now. My former friends have gone silent. Something's happened and I don't trust anyone I don't know. So, I need you to go into the pit and find out what's going on. Then you'll get your trial. Roll of the dice, remember? But it's safe for you. I get you a connection to the pit, you find out what's going on in there. I tell you how to do the Trial of Lingering Light. Yeah? There is one slight problem. My connection to the pit is a steel spike. It's a long story. That spike is in my pack, which I had to leave behind in Shrike territory due to a little... misunderstanding. Try searching around the broken rail tracks. Find my pack. Use the connection to enter the pit. Find what I need. And the first round's on me when you get back. Easy, yes? This connection will prove useful. We need a steady source of God's blood, and we should learn all we can about the Shrikes.
Got the connection. Now go to the pit and see what you can find. This is all wrong. You saw what it was like outside. There should be scores of shrikes here barreling the blood. Why is it?
Strikes abandon this place. Come back to my haven so we can talk next steps. Strikes have a new leader, a dangerous one who's been driving them to do foolish things, but abandoning a lucrative mine when Skylight needs blood? That's beyond foolish. Mm -mm. I wanted to know what's going on in the pit, and I don't have an answer yet. Besides, securing the flow of God's blood is good for us all. I'm sure your friends upstairs would agree. She's right. Skylight needs a secure source of God's blood. Well, well. Luke has been listening to our private conversation. At least when I spy on you, I have the decency to keep quiet, Omen. Hush. The slime, it's God's blood. Something in the gloom is animating it. Something big. If you can find that force and destroy it, Kestrel should be able to resume operations in the pit. Splendid. You splatter the slime, I get the blood flowing again, and you get your trial. Everyone wins. And yet, it always seems like you win just a little more than everyone else, Kestrel.
stay vigilant. I suppose you'd mind taking a tour of the barricades. Morale has been low of late. Wayfinder. You look a little worse for wear, but the job's done. Hopefully the i -Corps will subside now that the thing's dead and I can get the blood flowing again. As for what I promised you... Oh, you wound me. I've got what I wanted. I'll hold up my side of the bargain. There's a man called Megan who resides at the Crossroads Foundry. He's older than he looks. A little bird told me he's one of the only survivors of the attack that left Aurelian in ruins. If anyone knows how you can complete the Trial of Lingering Light, it's Brother Megan. Well, there you have it. Scurry on, then. Oh, and if you're looking for work further down the road, don't be a stranger, love. Onward! Who oh, there? Oh there. You're a Wayfinder, yes? I'm Brother Megan. Are you here to help? I'm working to restore the old foundry. We can't just hide in Skylight. We need to reclaim the Highlands. I don't... Why are you asking me this? She told you I was a monk, did she? That I'd know about the trial. Even if I did, Aurelian was destroyed long ago. How would it help you now? 
I don't have time for this. You're chasing ghosts, and I need to look after the living. There's too many of those beasts out there, and my people can't fight them. You're a wayfinder. You're supposed to save us from the gloom. So save us! Get out there and fight! Clear a path for our next supply run. Help us! Then, maybe, we'll talk about Aurelian. sent out the supply runners. The beasts will be back. They always come back. But you've bought us precious time, and I owe you an apology. I was angry. 
And honestly, part of me hoped you wouldn't return. That I'd never have to speak of Aurelian again. But here we are. You've driven back the gloom. I suppose I owe you answers about Aurelian and the trial of lingering light. And who better to help than the last surviving monk, eh? What do you know of the Celestial Architects, Wayfinder? The common creed, I imagine? The Architects imposed order on the primal chaos and shaped the world as we know it from the void. The Silver Codex is a penitent order within the Avar Church, tasked to record the wonders of the Architects' creation. We were peaceful scholars until the first scribe twisted our path. The first, oh, she was driven, brilliant. She wasn't content to write odes to the architects. She wanted to unlock their mysteries, to claim their power. There is more to creation than the Avar Creed tells. There are ancient powers that have no love for humanity, precursors who were here before us, who despise the architects' creation. The monks in the Codex Halls were devoted solely to the Arcs, but within the Undercroft, they were exploring the forbidden secrets of the Precursors. I was a loyal servant of the Arcs. I never faced the trial and never served in the Undercroft. I can't tell you what they were doing or how they died. I fled when the attack began. While I never faced the trial of lingering light, I have the medallion of one who did. Here. I hope it will allow you to reach the trial yourself. Nathan's medallion has a gloom trace. You can use it to reach the trial. If what he says is true, we need to know what these monks were doing in the Undercroft. Get through me!
They won't speak of their own. Other Wayfinders have explored the Codex Halls, but you will be the first to enter the echoes of the Undercroft, the heart of Aurelian. I'm almost afraid of what you may find. The Creed of the Avar Church warns of those who came before, mighty enemies of the Celestial Architects, ancient fiends who seek to tear down creation. Megan says that the Silver Codex was working with these precursors, that their first scribes sought to seize the power of the Architects. And I wonder... The creature who led the attack on Skylight... Was it a precursor? Did the Codex set the fall in motion? Aurelian may hold the answers. You'll find the entrance to the Undercroft in the Highlands, past Crossroads Foundry. Its entrance is surrounded by the ruined Ironstone Keep. Be careful. Geartooth scavengers have claimed that region. We've tried to negotiate, but they have no interest in peace. Be prepared for anything. We are running low on so many vital supplies. We need the rangers to double their We're not the type to want for medals. Something tells me we can't spare that much tin.
Memory returns. I can hear the sounds of battle ahead. Faint, but clear. Onward! This place feels familiar to me. Let us see what you can find.
for the Empire.
unusual. Some sort of remedy. I need to analyze your findings. ago, the fortress monastery of Aurelian was attacked by an unknown force. That battle ended when the core of Aurelian was consumed by darkness, what we now know as Gloom. The remnants you encountered in Aurelian were a flawed form of Echo. They have the memories of the dead, but they aren't truly alive. They can only replay their past. We know that Aurelian was attacked just before it was destroyed. These remnants are reliving their final hours, fighting for their lives against a deadly enemy. Megan said the first scribe of the Codex sought to seize the power of the Architects. Now the monks are trapped as remnants. Was this accidental or intentional? It's an old mystery, but we need to know the answers. Who attacked Aurelian? Who unleashed the gloom? Was it the monsters of the maze? Could it have been the Eldrin? Return to the Undercroft. Try to learn more about what the monks were working on in their final hours. Find out who actually attacked Aurelian. We need to know what happened on that final day. No fear.
Changes everything. Return to me as quickly as possible.
have courage. I've forgotten this. Get through me! The battle is won, but the war continues. Arsenal is much more than a simple smith. Much more. When you first encountered Avar soldiers in the ruins, I thought they were defending the monks. Now I see I was mistaken. They're Imperial Archons. The champions of the Avar Church. The Archons weren't protecting the monks. 
They were there to destroy them. And I think I know why. I should have seen it sooner. The Silver Codex was working with Shadow and Chaos. They were bargaining with ancient spirits. In the eyes of the Avar Church, these are vile heresies. The Archons are the champions of the Imperial Church. They fight monsters and fiends and punish heretics. Even so, I've never heard of them carrying out such a massacre. It's possible that the Codex posed such a grave threat that it was the only solution. Or perhaps the first gave them no choice. But there's a crucial question. What cast Aurelian into the gloom? We always thought it was the attackers who did this. Now I believe it was the first herself, that she was working with the gloom, until the attack unleashed it and destroyed them all. The first may not have been able to control the gloom, but if we can recover her work and refine it, we might be able to drive the gloom back and rebuild what we've lost. The first must have an arcane workshop deeper within Aurelian, a repository of knowledge where she conducted her most important experiments, I'm sure of it. And you must find it. We need you to press deeper into Aurelian and the gloom. But to do that, you need a connection. Lord Halar has a few ideas. Yes. Yes. You see, the Archons stopped the first scribe. They must have entered her vault. They must have known where it was. But their remnants remain. Ha! Ah, remnants remain. I like that. The Remnants continue to fight their final battles. We just need to weave you into that story. Each Remnant is just a thread. But I've pieced together a tapestry. I've crafted a Gloom Trace from all of the Remnants you've battled. This should take you to a crucial moment of the battle. Use it. See where it takes you. See what the Archons are hiding. The Codex Halls have been pacified. We're moving on the Undercroft. Move quickly, Faith. We must find the Conflux Ark. Burn in the light, heretic. Your foul allies have made you strong. But the light will always triumph over darkness. You can still turn back from this. Surrender, and I'll make your death quick and clean. Into the night we go. Side. 
last. Mechanic levels are rising. They're charging the complex! Archon Megan, why have you abandoned your post? Do you know what you've done? Take comfort in the light. The Architects are always with us. The Ark... Brother Megan, Archon, go to the crossroads and get answers. We made great progress, but the gloom is as deadly as ever. protect you. Oh there. We meet again, Wayfinder. No luck with the trial of lingering light. I am sorry, Wayfinder. I did not want to lie to you. But the truth... The truth is a shame that will stain my soul for as long as I live. I call myself Brother Megan, but I am no monk. I was once an Archon, a champion of the Avar Imperium, sworn to carry the light of the Architects to the darkest places. The monks of Aurelian were charged to chronicle the wonders of the Architects. We'd heard there was trouble at the monastery, that an evil force had taken root there. I thought we'd investigate, Weed out the darkness and save the innocent. I was wrong. Commander Creed said the monks were beyond redemption. He told us to slaughter them all. We could have saved them. We could have tried. We didn't bring justice to Aurelian. Only death. I couldn't stop it. But I wouldn't be a part of it. I fled, and Aurelian fell into the gloom. I couldn't go back to Avar not knowing what the Archons truly were. So I remained. I became Brother Megan, and I've tried to help and to heal. I was once an Imperial Archon, a champion of the Architects. When my commander told us we had to cleanse vile corruption from this region, I thought we'd be fighting the Maze. As we approached Aurelian, the commander told us the monks had made contact with the ones who came before. He said that there could be no mercy, that only death could cleanse their souls. I believed him. I've seen the ghost plagues and fought in the maze. I expected the monks to be warped, slavering cultists, and I was ready to cut them down. I didn't expect to see tears. The monks in the Codex Halls were only initiates, little more than children. They knew nothing of the precursors or the work being done below. But Creed told us to kill every living thing. Creed saw I had no stomach for the slaughter and ordered me to guard the storerooms. But the screams 
the smell of blood. I cast down my shield and fled. That's the only reason I'm still alive. Aurelian collapsed, and the ruins were consumed by shadows. No one else escaped. Everyone, monks, my brothers, everyone died in the darkness. Something's missing. We've seen the Archon Commander's final battle. He never reached the Inner Sanctum. If he didn't trigger the Gloom Collapse, who did? We still need a connection. I fled before it happened. I only witnessed it from afar. But maybe the storerooms in Aurelian were filled with God's blood. Arcanic fuel. The monks had a massive stockpile. They must have needed it for something. The monks were getting God's blood from the largest mine here in the Highlands, what the Shrikes call the Bloodworks. Perhaps there's a clue there. Something to reveal the path forward. I won't ask you for forgiveness. I don't deserve it. Just know that Archon Megan died in Aurelian. What life I have left, I'll give to the people here. Good luck. The power of the architects. Come to keep me company? Smoky worm, about so big from mall to tail. It was here a moment ago, and it slipped away before I could determine if it was venomous. Oh, Wayfinder, have you come to help me with my work? Has my... Uh, Lord Halar realized how important field research is? She did. She did! Oh, lovely. I have so many experiments for us to try together. Tell me... How are you with needles? Oh, and we'll need something for you to bite down on, certainly! <laughs> hmm, I suppose I can help with that. The Shrikes have been going in and out of the Bloodworks for a while. I think they're using some sort of ore shard to form a connection. Search the rubble piles around the Bloodworks. Should be easy to find one. Just look for a shard absolutely dripping in God's blood. Have fun with the Shrikes! Be careful in there. Now... Where was that worm? God, what would dispersal mean for local flora and fauna?
Take that sliver of ore. I can feel the resonance of God's blood on it. Avala can use this to forge a connection for you. Wayfinder! Oh, hi, Shard. Uh, let me just amplify the energies and bind it to you and... Huh, there we are. Connection. Are you sure I can't convince you to help with a quick experiment or two? Only a few needles. All right, you have what you need from me. The connection is strong. I'm sure you'll reach the bloodworks and won't be lost forever in the formless void. <laughs> Fairly sure. Oh, nothing. I'm sure you'll be fine. Mostly sure. Why are you going into the bloodworks anyways? Oh, I'm glad I made those adjustments, then. I've been working on a spectral harvester, you see, and... Oh, I don't want to bore you with the details. You, go on now. I still need to find that worm. void. Now see if you can find any traces of the Codex Sages. Don't be afraid.
back to the dock with you. Yep. <laughs> 
here, this is a dead end. Return to Avala anyway. Maybe she's found something. Oh, if the answer is in the Eldrin's blood... Oh, you're back! The worm wasn't venomous, which is superb news, as it did, in fact, bite me. But I'm, I'm curious if it could become venomous if I expose it to flora energy. Sorry, sorry. Was your expedition successful? You seem to be in one piece, and you weren't lost forever in the formless void, so that's something. Of course not. They've been dead for decades. But the spectral harvesters I planted on you may have been able to capture the traces you needed. Don't worry, they're entirely harmless. Mostly. Let me see. Yes, there we are. I'll infuse this into a resonance crystal, and there, filled with the essence of sages. Oh, it should work. Oh, yes, of course. Come back when you have more time. Now, where was that vial of venom? We know that Aurelian collapsed in the gloom during the Archon attack. You've experienced the final moments of the Archon commander. He didn't do anything to trigger the collapse. If the Archons weren't responsible, it must have been the monks. That resonance crystal holds traces of some of the leaders of the Silver Codex. It can take you to their final moments. If these sages were responsible for the collapse, we may be able to use their techniques to control the gloom and undo the damage it has done. So go now and inquire of the dead. We've lost the Codex Halls, Master Samar, and the Archons have entered the Undercroft. Hold them. The Conflux Arc is almost ready. Just a little more time, and we will smother them in shadows. We'll do what we can, but you must work quickly. How dare you? You are a fool to face us in our place of power, Archon. We're being overrun, Samar. The Archons are approaching the repository of knowledge. I will not allow this. We will destroy you, Archon, and all of your kind. Be cautious. Guide my hand!
I will not allow the gifts of the Precursors to fall into the hands of these fools. You failed me, brothers. But at least you served to prepare the Conflux Arc. First scribe. No, it's not ready. If you activate the Arc, it will destroy us all. No! Someday, I hope you can hang up your the mystery deepens. The sages were preparing a final defense, but they didn't destroy Aurelian. That must have been the first, and she spoke of the precursors. There was something about her. No. If the first trigger the collapse, surely she died with the rest of the Silver Codex. But this, this Conflux Arc could be the key. This is how they triggered the Gloom Collapse. It's ruined, but it's possible Lord Halar can learn something from it. Sword and rest, Windbrave. But not today. They lost its shards. Whatever their origin, they are arcanic. Ah, our stalwart champion. Yes, Omen told me what you found. Dire news, to be certain. Yet with this storm comes a lining of brilliant silver, no? We have here an opportunity to study what could be considered forbidden knowledge. Leave this with me, Wayfinder, and I will find out what I can. Though learning anything of merit may take me some time. For now, I would return to Omen. I am sure she has need of you. In nature, I will replicate <laughs> Windrave, consider what we've seen. Aurelian collapsed and lost. Skylight attacked. Our world thrown into the gloom. And through it all, one common thread. The Precursors. We need to know more. The first said she was hoarding the gifts of the Precursors in her repository of knowledge. It's time to seize those secrets. Lord Halar is still studying this Conflux Arc. But we have a minor victory. Your brush with the first gave us the traces we need. You now have a connection to the repository of knowledge. The entrance is deep in the highlands, past the crossroads foundry in the Ironstone Keep. Luck be with you, my friend.